Hello, welcome to Odds on Bundesliga March Day 10. Round 9 is behind us and we witnessed the current top three Bayern, Dortmund and Freiburg comfortably winning their fixtures. Meanwhile, the Wolfsburg manager was fired and a couple of other coaches also fear for their jobs. We also have DFB Pokal in midweek, so beware of lineups and possible upsets in the upcoming round 10. We are determined to analyze everything about German Bundesliga with our football and betting expert Radek Vegas. Stay tuned to learn what tips and predictions has he prepared for you and I'm sure too you'll, be find, you'll be able to find value in most of them. Please do like this video, hit the notification bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us grow so we can keep delivering great content for you. Leave your comments below and let us know what are your predictions for Bundesliga March Day 10. So now let's get on with the show! Hello Radek, how are you today? Fine, let's have a look uh, if we see a lot of surprises this game day. What I just calculated is that at the uh, since f October 1st we saw about uh, 30 units wins if we always would have betted on the underdog and this is huge. So uh, most part of it was the win of Eintracht Frankfurt against Bayern Munich but there have been a lot of other surprises means the underdog with the higher odd win this game and um, yeah so this is uh, interesting to keep in mind for this game there as well. Definitely take notes guys, take notes. We witnessed many many goals in round 9 and very uh, upset to be honest, unexpected results. Let's see what match day 10 holds because there's also DFB Pokal uh, in the midweek so maybe uh, again some upsets will happen. On Friday we have Hoffenheim and Hertha. Uh, it comes as no surprise that Hoffenheim were trashed with 4-0 by Bayern. Anybody could predict this really. Uh, however, at home they dismantled Cologne with five goals in round eight. And the fans are definitely enjoying that and would love to experience it once again. Meanwhile, Hertha continued their good run with 1-0 over Gladbach and Kleip climbed up to the 10th position in the current standings. Even though the bookies favorite the home side, I don't really see such big difference between those teams at first. Yeah, um, all stats lead to Hoffenheim. They are, uh, if you compare the stats of both teams on Oddspedia, you see Hoffenheim is better in every stat almost. And um, that's why um, they seem to be better in this game. But Hertha improved in the last games. Um, they won two games against opponents where we thought they might not win uh, like Frankfurt and like um, Gladbach and could be the same um, against Hoffenheim that um, I think th these low odds on Hoffenheim have no value. Um, in this situation I tend to, to bet on a draw as I always like to. Um, but it's also an option to um, concentrate on value on the Apro team uh, or the away team um, because we get double chance Hertha with 2.17 uh, or Asian Handicap plus one on Hertha means uh, they can lose with one goal behind and we get the money back and if there is a draw or a Hertha win we win this bet. We get odds of 1.7 compare the odds on Odspedia and one, one of these two bets um, are my favorites here. To be honest, uh, this is a dangerous game. Uh, I won't bet my personal money on, but if you ask me what I think, um, I think it's likely to, uh, to see a draw and I don't see Hoffenheim the big favorite. That's why I won't bet on Hoffenheim and find uh, bets on, on the away team here. But uh, you, I think you can't trust Hertha as well. That's why I won't bet on them. I also uh, had this feeling when I was uh, researching the game. So <laughs> for me, the odds of 175 are very tricky here. So don't take them. On Saturday, Armenia, Bielefeld and Mainz. Armenia fans have nothing to cheer for right now. Still in this in the, winless in the Bundesliga. And in the previous round, they lost 1-3 at home to Dortmund. And we once again playing their stadium this time against an opponent uh, from which they can potentially get a point probably <laughs> Mainz on the other hand has finally won against Augsburg with 4-1 and aided ended their three back-to-back -back losing streak so good game here 
Yeah, um, everyone expects Mainz to continue this because they moved up to spot 7 in the standings. Their favorite the thoughts of 2.15, that is um, okay, this is kind of a good value I think because Bielefeld uh, didn't win any game this season. But on the other hand we saw Bielefeld uh, at home, keeping their points at home. Uh, drawing against some uh, really good opponents and if we have a look back to last season Bielefeld uh, won the home game against Mainz 2-1 and I think uh, Bielefeld is um, really really a tough opponent to play at their stadium at the Alm in Bielefeld where a lot of enthusiastic fans will support them so it's not uh, uh, that easy for Mainz as it was against Augsburg at their home stadium where we expect almost the same crowd supporting them. So um, also I think uh, scoring a goal against uh, Borussia Dortmund at home and only conceding three goals against Dortmund is also not a bad result for Bielefeld. Um, anyway, Mainz has to win this game and I'm a bit aware of um, seeing a, a draw here, but um, most of the games Mainz should win this, but we don't get really good odds on Mainz. That's why the only option I see here is betting on Asian Handicap Zero on Mainz and combining this with other games. And um, I'm not really happy to, to see a single bet on Mainz in this game. Okay. Moving on by Leverkusen and Wolfsburg, where Leverkusen couldn't defeat Cologne in match day nine, despite taking an early lead by a goal from Patrick Schick, who is continuing his fantastic run with eight goals and one assist so far. Leverkusen are currently fourth with uh, only five points away from Bayern Munich. And maybe the fans are dreaming of Bundesliga title. Actually, the outright odds are something like 100 for Leverkusen. So if you bet 10 euros, you can potentially make 1,000 euros. But that's a really long shot. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wolfsburg continue to struggle and added a four consecutive defeat, this time to Freiburg at home with 2-0. They are a Champions League team, but certainly don't behave like one with only one win in the last nine fixtures across all competitions. And finally, this resulted uh, in the manager Mark von Bommel being sacked from the team. What to expect here? Yeah, this is. Uh, it started so well for Wolfsburg as they uh, were a leader after some games, and and uh, now they uh, yeah are on a, such a horrible streak now. And I I really didn't expect that uh, because I think the team is not not so bad. And um, on the other hand, you can see how much a coach. Uh, is worth for for a team as we saw Oliver Glasner last week uh, was the perfect uh, last season was the perfect fit to Wolfsburg and um, yeah now uh, Glasner is at um, his new team uh, also not happy maybe he should return and uh, yeah then everyone would be happier but um, I, I really don't understand the odds here because as you all mentioned uh, Leverkusen is uh, doing well and Wolfsburg is doing bad and we get odds of uh, around two on Leverkusen here so this is a kind of uh, no-brainer to to ride the trend here I'm not a, a big trend fan and I really don't like Leverkusen's mentality um, not winning against Cologne after leading 2-0 that is uh, a thing we always see uh, in Leverkusen games for years now uh, that they uh, if they are really favorite and they are leading they they kind of fuck it up and they always do so also in this game um, I won't surprise if there is a draw or something completely different but um, we have to bet on the Leverkusen side and if we also have a look at Asian Handicap Zero on Leverkusen means if there is a draw we get the money back we can combine this Asian Handicap Zero with odds of 1.4 in our Ecker 
um, where we also have Mines Asian Handicap Zero and maybe some other games uh, we see after this. But also the, the pure Leverkusen win is attractive here with what, uh, around 2.0. But as it was against Cologne, uh, where they, yeah, they disappointed me, um, they also can uh, disappoint against uh, Wolfsburg. But on the other hand, Wolfsburg is really struggling and that's why I think for Leverkusen it should be easier to win against them, uh, like against a really uh, good compact team like Cologne, where their coach is really pure energy with Stefan Baumgart. And so I think the coach position in Wolfsburg is a key factor that we can bet against them. I don't believe uh, in um, yeah a lot of coach uh, effects after transisting a coach and that's why Leverkusen is my better bet here and combine it in the Asian Handicap Zero in the Ecker. Normally when a new coach emerges in the team the first game is always high spirit high energy and they tend to uh, upset but I, I'm not sure if Wolfsburg have actually appointed a new manager right now mm -hmm. I haven't heard any news on this yeah, that could be uh, the problem as well, because uh, they, they uh, are bad management, they don't have a clue how to continue and uh, that's not good for the team, I think. Definitely, the players will not be at their best, probably. Uh, next game we have Dortmund and Cologne. Dortmund picked another routine win, uh, but once again couldn't keep a, keep a clean sheet. They have the worst defense among the top three teams, allowing 15 so far, which is quite surprising. However, however, we can always count on them outscoring their opponents and against the visiting Cologne, who are one of the worst away teams in the league. 150 for Dortmund looks like a sure bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> if there would be a sure bet, um, could be so. But uh, remember, I just told you that Cologne also uh, managed to keep a point against Leverkusen. But uh, yeah, that was at home and there are um, not that good uh, when they're playing away. No, no win away in four games, only two draws. And for sure, uh, Dortmund at home uh, is the best home team. Five wins in five games, 17 goals. So yeah, that really looks like a good bet, betting on Dortmund here. And uh, yeah, the odds um, are not uh, really good for a single bet because uh, we want to have always uh, odds around 2.0 or maybe 1.8 to 2.0 in this uh, odd range to bet on teams and favorite bets are uh, almost never a good idea um, because uh, Cologne uh, also um, draw against Leipzig in this season and yeah they they really are dangerous to almost any team but as we saw not against Hoffenheim because they lost 5-0 against Hoffenheim. All in all yeah you can uh, put Dortmund in the Ecker maybe and combine it but um, I just uh, won't touch this game because for sure uh, you say it's a sure bet but uh, you also don't win a lot in this uh, kind of uh, favorite bets. Uh, we have another favorite in the next clash, Freiburg and Greute Fjord. Freiburg remain unbeaten. What an excellent run so far. Uh, they managed to trash Wolfsburg on the road with 2-0. Well, not really trash, but defeat them, which actually resulted in, as we mentioned, uh, the sack of the manager of Wolfsburg. The fans are definitely enjoying the season so far and we will expect another victory against a struggling uh, Reuter Fjord who has lost seven in a row already and just one point in the Bundesliga. It looks like overall doomed season for them. Yeah, that's a pity, but um, to be honest, uh, I think they uh, themselves didn't expect anything else because they are really uh, the, the biggest uh, surprise uh, going up in the first league and have a small budget and um, no really um, Bundesliga experience of their players. So Freiburg playing at home their second game in the new stadium and they are huge favorite. Um, maybe the, the, 
the smallest odd we've ever seen on Freiburg because as I uh, always say is that I never would bet on a team like Freiburg uh, if they are such a huge favorite. They're not by Munich, they are not uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, but they get odds like them and for sure against third it seems like every team has to beat them. Um, but yeah, the risk is too, is too big and the reward is too, too small if uh, you only get about 0.5 on a Freiburg win, which is uh, yeah likely, but um, it's not worth it. And on the other hand, betting on third is uh, no option at w as well. Um, um, a special bet could be just uh, both teams to score here. Um, as I don't uh, think that um, Freiburg will um, dominate third here the whole game. And as we saw, third was also able to score ben against Bayern Munich and Leipzig. And uh, especially against Leipzig, third uh, was dominating the first half with eight uh, uh, shots on goal and, yeah, okay, scoring by penalty. But uh, anyway, I think they, they might score here against Freiburg and the odds are 2.05 on both teams to score. So this, this I like this uh, odd more than uh, a win on Freiburg here. Very interesting indeed. Now we have uh, Union Berlin and Bayern Munich, where uh, Union Berlin are probably disappointed with the one, one narrow draw to Stuttgart, where we expected them to win, but an equalizer in the dying 30, 30, 93rd minute decided the final outcome of the game. Uh, now they have the impossible task against the flying Bayern Munich, who continues to average over 3.5 goals per game. Lewandowski and Gnabry were yet again on the score sheet uh, over the weekend when they won 4-0 to Hoffenheim. However, it's interesting to note that the last two head-to-head -head games between Union Berlin and uh, Bayern Munich have ended in a 1-1 draw. So something to think about here. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would have mentioned it if you wouldn't. So uh, I think... Uh... Uh, Bayern Munich, uh, yeah, is a kind of a threat of Union Berlin, and especially Union Berlin playing at home is uh, tough for them. The Black Cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, the, the Knights, as we call them, kind of in Germany, the Eisernen, the Iron Man, <laughs> and, and that's why, uh, yeah, it's, they didn't lose a game uh, in five home games, uh, only two draws, three wins. And uh, yeah, they will put everything on the pitch to um, hurt Bayern Munich in this game, I think. And betting on Bayern Munich with 1.36 uh, is no option in this game. Mm, for sure, I, I, I'm really not confident betting against Bayern Munich as they are the best team in the world. And uh, so we... We need more value or, or higher Asian handicap uh, on Union Berlin to bet on them as we have because the line with uh, fair odds of 2.0 uh, is around plus 1.5. So that is not uh, really attractive because Bayern Munich can beat every opponent in the world with two goals in advantage and that is not... Um, yeah, that is not so so good, but uh, I won't bet on the favorite here. But um, yeah, I, I would uh, like to see another draw here as we saw last season, or maybe even a win for Union Berlin. I, I, I really like them because there's also a small team, always an underdog, and they managed to play such a great season. Uh, again, and they're on spot five. So yeah, just uh, uh, let them live, Bayern Munich. And uh, so um, yeah, I, I enjoy to watch the game, but uh, I, I really don't want to bet against Union Berlin, and I don't like the small odds in Bayern. Next game is not so clear. What will be the outcome? Eintracht and Frank Eintracht Frankfurt and Leipzig. Uh, Eintracht recorded a second consecutive defeat in the Bundesliga despite winning the Europa League clash to Olympiakos. The team has dropped down to 15th place in the current standings and are just two points clear of the relegation zone, which is a terrible situation considering they're playing European football on the one hand, while on the other hand struggling in Bundesliga. 
But meanwhile, uh, Leipzig are flying high on confidence with three wins and two draws in the last five fixtures. Of course, uh, they overrun Greuther Fjord with 4-1 in round nine, which everyone could have predicted. Uh, but this visit is not set in stone, despite being mm -hmm. the bookie's favorite. Yeah, and uh, that's a, a thing I mentioned because Oliver Glasner, the coach uh, who came from uh, Wolfsburg and uh, managed to bring Wolfsburg to the Champions League, is uh, sucking that much here at Frankfurt. And um, I would have expected him uh, to be fired first, uh, not um, Van Bommel, but um, yeah, the ridiculous thing about is uh, that Eintracht Frankfurt only won one game in nine games in the Bundesliga so far, and this was against Bayern Munich. But um, maybe they, they need uh, the, the good opponents to uh, show what they are capable of. And I, I really don't understand them. Uh, beating an uh, almost Champions League team like Olympiakos is really good. But then losing against uh, 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 the pre-last or uh, one of the bad, worst team in the Bundesliga like Bochum is unbelievable. And so we really don't know what to expect uh, from, from Frankfurt. They are able to keep the game close for sure on a good day. They draw both teams last season against Leipzig. This could be an option. Um, but uh, with all facts and stats we have, uh, there's no other um, possible bet than betting on Leipzig uh, win here. They get odds of 1.9. Um, they seem to be on a good streak, they seem to be the better uh, team, they have the better players, uh, they can just uh, substitute players and bring uh, players like Dominic Soboslai, who's one of the best young talented players in Europe and so the potential of Leipzig is uh, really really big. They also didn't uh, have a good uh, start in this season but I think they're improving from game to game. Anyway, it's dangerous to have a draw here, but um, the odds on Leipzig with 1.9 are really good enough to bet on. And I also would uh, keep the Asian Handicap 0 on Leipzig in the Ecker, maybe, as we get odds of 1.4. And at the, this situation, um, no one can expect Frankfurt to win this game, so yeah, we cannot uh, bet on uh, tradition like uh, Frankfurt was a good home team last season and they bet by uh, they beat Bayern Munich um, that are uh, just singular or, or past moments uh, recently they lost against Bochum and that is what we're betting on that they not winning against Leipzig maybe they will bounce back uh, but who knows we, we should wait sure. and see <laughs> on Sunday we have Augsburg and Stuttgart where Augsburg are headed uh, fast to the relegation zone with another painful defeat with 4-1 to Mainz this time. Manager Marcus uh, Vincer <laughs> is under pressure uh, as the bad oh, results yeah. are piling up and the team has just one win in the season so far. Meanwhile, Stuttgart managed a third a hard-fought uh, point against Union Berlin, but the fans are definitely not happy with the recent performance of the team. Stuttgart is also uh, still winless away from home and both teams will fight to the very end for a point here, in my opinion, I guess. Mm, yeah, could could be, yes. And um, I also don't understand why Weinzel uh, isn't sucked, uh, because he, he was the favorite to uh, l lose his job uh, at the bookies a long time. Yeah, and... Uh, it's just a time of minutes, I think, and this game is a decisive one because it's a kind of a rivality because of the the places where they uh, the cities are. It's not far away, and and I think um, we we really get good odds on Stuttgart here because uh, Stuttgart had some really really good uh, results within the last game days, and a draw against Union Berlin. Uh, shows that they are fighting and they are fighting till the end. They also draw against Gladbach uh, in Gladbach, which is also a really, really uh, good uh, result the, uh, as Gladbach is way better at home than away. And they won against Hoffenheim, uh, so on. Um, four games uh, they didn't lose, so um, but three games of them they draw. 
that's why I won't bet on a win of Stuttgart, but uh, as the odds on Stuttgart are that high with 2.5, we find value betting on Stuttgart double chance, uh, maybe we get 1.5. Four. And this is a, a really interesting bet because at the recent situation you can't expect Augsburg to win this game and um, the risk of losing the bet double chance on Stuttgart with 1.4 um, is uh, really low in my eyes and that's why this is another bet in the Ecke. Perfect. I noticed that your Ecke now uh, has a little bit more conservative odds which actually many of the viewers probably will enjoy. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to learn more about betting, we have a special betting academy on our website. It's brand new. We have also some videos on YouTube. You can go check them out. But let's finish first here, March Day 10, with the last game of uh, Bo Gladbach in Bochum, where Gladbach took the loss away to Hertha with 1-0. But the bookies clearly favored them in this match, judging by the low odds. So, really 135 something like this they're meeting an informed Bochum who defeated Eintracht with 2-0 March Day 9 both teams are separated by just one point in the table and I'm very curious to hear what you think about this match yeah think about it's ridiculous that in a game between uh, position 12 and position 14 there is only one uh, team between them, you see such a huge difference in odds, and especially if we look at the results, Bochum uh, uh, won against Frankfurt at home, and they only lost one of their last four games. So, and this was against Leipzig, and um, Gladbach only won, um, yeah, one of the last three games, and. So they didn't uh, beat Hertha and they didn't beat Stuttgart and in both teams I think they should have won. Now for sure this is this is no option to bet at the home team with 1.39 or something around this. But um, yeah, also betting on Bochum is a bit of uh, speculative and um, that's why um, I don't like this game and that's why I don't bet on it. Yeah, the boogies are trying to trick us here with these low odds, but we are, done, we are not buying them. <laughs> Yeah, the, I, I understand this because Gladbach uh, won against Borussia Dortmund. They are a good home team. No, no loss at home. That uh, that is the fact. And I'm really sure they won't lose against Bochum. But uh, yeah, it's not worth to to bet on a win because you have so low, low odds here. I agree. So uh, once again, let's summarize your Aka. You mentioned it during the video, but just to give the audience a final summary. Yeah, uh, I would combine some Asian Handicap Zero bets because if there is a draw in these games, uh, it won't break your Acker and just the odds uh, would be set to 1 and the game is ignored. And that's why Asian Handicap Zero on Mainz against Bielefeld would be a good uh, thing in my eyes. As Asian Handicap um, on Leipzig at Frankfurt, uh, Asian Handicap Zero. Um, Stuttgart double chance in Augsburg is one of my favorite bets at the moment because Augsburg sucks so hard <laughs> and um, my last bet um, it's a kind of a harder decision between Leverkusen Asian handicap zero at home against Wolfsburg because Wolfsburg is so bad or maybe Borussia Dortmund win at home against Cologne one of these two bets but I really think Leverkusen Asian handicap zero is better because um, yeah, you you are aware of the draw, and um, I, I really would love to see a, a draw uh, of Cologne in Dortmund. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a bit uh, uh, emotional in this game against Dortmund. That's why I won't bet on Dortmund here in Ecke. But if you think uh, Dortmund is a better bet, feel free to bet on it. And otherwise, we have four. Uh, um, odds of around 1.4 combined and we get odds of uh, 3.2 uh, around this so yeah it's worth a shot and if you ask me about my double uh, bet on uh, draws I would uh, say my favorite draw on this game day is uh, Hertha Hoffenheim and I also can imagine if uh, Wolfsburg is getting uh, 
bit better with the new coach. They can keep. Uh, they made a point against Leverkusen, but that is, um, yeah, that is not really the thing we want to bet on. So, yeah, a draw bet on Hertha Hoffenheim, I think, is is an option because uh, we get huge odds of 4.2 here. Only betting one third of a unit uh, or even one fourth of a unit. And uh, yeah, that's that's really value. Okay, thank you very much, Radek. It was a pleasure as always. And uh, I'll see you soon in March Day 11. Yeah. Or oh, actually, it's maybe maybe you. Eduardo will be back then. We don't know yet. He's somewhere. Where is he? Just around as, the world. <laughs> yeah, living in Bali and yeah, living a good life. Somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Having, sure. a, having a good weather summer and all that see you soon radic bye bye yeah see you too bye thank you all right then we have all games from bundesliga then predicted by radic which you are now able to see on your screen if you enjoyed the show please like it subscribe to the channel hit the bell go share with your friends and make sure to stick around because we'll be back tomorrow with yet another great show check out the rest of our youtube content and follow us on no social media channel and remember, winning is not about never losing. Winning is about making more than you've lost. Stay on the right side of the money.